of learning Salesforce. Now we have uh, earlier seen two videos on two great tools that is web to lead and web to case. Now today we are going to learn one more tool that is email to case. Now again this is a great tool provided by Salesforce. Now how we can use this tool? Basically let's consider a scenario in which let's a customer is having some problem and he or she wants to send an email to our support. So let's say he is sending an email to support at variance.infotech.com. Now in that case, what should happen? That email should be directly converted into the ticket and that ticket can be assigned to the service agent so that they will aware about what exactly customer is having problem and they can resolve the problem quickly. Now, how it will have, how it will have to customer as well as the company or the vendor who is providing the service or, customer or this product this will have uh, both the entities like it will create a win-win situation for both like customer can directly uh, create a ticket without going into the portal or customer portal and they just need to send an email then the ticket will be automatically created and on the uh, company side they will be uh, having a ticket automatically generated from the customer email and in that way the ticket can be assigned to any agent and that agent can be work on it and they can rectify that uh, problem and they can provide the solution to it and in that way customer will become more happy and that will uh, that will be uh, very helpful to the customer and as well it will create a great effort of the company that they are providing quick response to their problems so we need to check this tool inside the Salesforce so let us see how we can use this tool in the Salesforce now let's log in into our Salesforce auth I have logged in with my developer credentials and click on the gear icon and click on setup in the quick find text box just type down email dash so it will pop up with email to case menu. Click on that menu and you will have this email to case settings. As I have already enabled this email to case uh, settings, so it, it is by default enabled now. Click on edit. I cannot make any change or I cannot disable these settings now because I have already enabled it earlier. So uh, you can set more options like if you want to notify case owners on the new emails you can set up this by checking this checkbox then uh, you can also enable html emails so you just need to check that checkbox so you will be allowed this html email and apart from that send emails from cases sections and there are two options that uh, you can like if you want to have the email thread that need to be enabled then just click on this first and second checkbox then on the on-demand services sections you just need to enable on-demand service just check that checkbox and save this setting so now you set this save the settings now you can see the another option, another section is just coming up after saving these settings. That is routing addresses. Now click on the new button and uh, enter the routing name. So let's say I am entering the email to case for variance in contact. That is the name. And now uh, enter the email address on which you want to set up this email to case. So let's say I am entering my colleague's email address and you can create a task from the incoming email so let's check this checkbox and uh, the task status initially i'm setting is it as it is uh, which is provided by default that is not started click on the not started and you can have the case settings like you can set the case owner but it is not mandatory so i am just keeping as it is i'm not setting the user or the queue in that now we can have case priority that is either medium high or low by default is it is medium so i'm just keeping it as it is and 
for the case origin we can select the email as we are setting the email to case option here now just save these settings now after clicking on the save button you will find an alert message that will tell us that an email will be sent on the email address which we have set up here that will uh, that will contain the link for the verification of this email address by salesforce so just click on that ok button and go to your email uh, your gmail account you will find this email from the salesforce just click on that email address e email uh, which you have received newly now click on this email link so after clicking on the email link your email has been verified by the salesforce this message is telling like you that and just click on the continue button now your email has been set up you can also see that you might have received one uh, one one ticket on that so just go to the cases section and just open the all open cases okay now let's move ahead and go to the email to case settings now you can see uh, here in the email to case settings you will find uh, a message in the yellow background that will tell us the email the long email address which you need to copy it and you need to set it up in your as a forwarding email address in your gmail setting so go to the gmail click on the settings the gear icon and click on the settings and go to the forwarding and pop email and just add the forwarding address the address which has been provided by salesforce now just click on next and it's verifying the email address there was a space i just removed that space now click on proceed and that's it you have set your forwarding email address now just let's go to the another window to send an email from another email address to this email address so let's say i have just opened my uh, new window in icognito mode and i have uh, i have just opened my email i am just composing this email and i am sending an email to the email address which we have set up as a email to case email case paste email hello email to case paste email click on send and go to salesforce click on the all open cases you can see the email is there so the case has been created for this particular email if you click on the email you will find the subject you can see the original message as we have selected the headers and all the information as well so this is how we can set up email to case and we can see how it will be beneficial to you and your organization because now once the case has been created you can assign this case or ticket to the service agent and they can work on it and then they can reply back to the customer so that customer will get the prompt response and they will become happy and this is how you can make your customer happy 
So that is from the email to case. Thanks for watching this video.